What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our 2015 NFL Draft Special. We're going inside the war room with the Baltimore Ravens. We're going to take a look at their team needs to see what players could be possible selections to help fill those needs. But first, let's start off by taking a look at the upcoming picks the Ravens have in this year's draft. First, let's take a look at the mock draft rules. Number one, these picks are based off what I would do as the GM of the football team and what I believe the team needs are. And second, these rankings are my own personal rankings, which you can find on our website at footballgameplan.com slash NFL draft. And this is not indicative of where I think these guys will actually go in April's draft. So let's take a look at the team needs for Baltimore going into the draft. I think they need help at wide receiver. Steve Smith can't play forever. And yes, they still have Marlon Brown, Campanero, Jeremy Butler. But I still think they have to add more talent at that position, as well as defensive depth across the board. D-line, linebacker, and in the secondary. With their first selection, I went with Ty Gurley out of Georgia. He was just too good to pass up. And I do believe Gurley, when healthy, can be the next great Baltimore Ravens tailback. We've seen Priest Holmes. We've seen Jamal Lewis. We've seen Ray Rice. I think Gurley has that type of talent and I think would be a perfect fit for Baltimore. In the second round, I added a wide receiver in Adrian Coxon out of Stony Brook, who I think is one of the most underrated receiving prospects in this year's draft class. He has the size, the speed, and the skill set to excel inside or out. There's a lot to like about Donald Seliscar out of Western Michigan at 5'11", 194, a guy that can play either corner or safety, and that type of versatility gives the Ravens options in the secondary. You can't go wrong with a defensive back from Virginia Tech, and Kishon Jarrett out of Virginia Tech is one of those type of players, a guy that can play in the hole as an alley defender, or also as a strong safety matching up versus tight ends and slot receivers. I'm a big fan of Mike Riley out of William & Mary. Got the chance to see him live versus Stony Brook, as well as Adrian Coxon. And when you look at what Riley brings to the table, a guy that can hold his own at the point and also provides tremendous value as a pass rusher. I double down on the receiver position with Deontay Greenberry out of Houston at 6'3", 190. A bigger wide receiver that I think fits perfectly on the inside. Good offensive line prospect in Austin Shepard out of Alabama at 6'4", 315. He had a very good week of practice in Mobile at the Senior Bowl, and I think he has the flexibility to play guard as well as tackle. I found good value here in the fifth round as Michael Bennett out of Ohio State was still on my board at 6'2", 293. Bennett is a guy that can play a variety of positions up front. Speaking of a guy that's flexible and what he can do for defense, I look at James Balders out of Stanford. I think he can play all three linebacker spots and will instantly provide depth at all three for Baltimore. Continuing to stockpile defensive depth, I added edge rusher Trey Flowers out of Arkansas who may not have all of the measurables that you're looking for, but this is a guy that definitely knows how to get to the quarterback. So let's recap my 2015 Ravens mock draft. And as you can see, I was able to add a lot of defensive depth on his football team in the secondary at the second level and also along the defensive line while also adding great talent at wide receiver. So now when you look at Marlon Brown, you also look at Michael Campanero and Jeremy Butler, along with Coxon and Greenberry. You have to like the direction that I've taken the Ravens offensively as well as defensively. And you also have to give a huge shout out to Raven fan forums for always showing football game plan support.